we're ending it with chest and triceps. And we're starting out with the pre-exhaustion isolation movement, the underhand dumbbell flies. Yeah, utilizing that shoulder flexion. And uh, it's a great one, kind of getting that, that chest warmed up. You guys pre-exhausted before we're moving on to a compound motion, but we're doing three sets of 15 reps, so we're taking a little bit lighter. And then that good quality repetitions, really feeling it in that chest, a little bit in the front delts there too. And uh, it's a good start, for sure. Yeah. I'm flexing right off the bat. There's no warming up for this one. There's no pump cover. This is it. He's just always pumped. <laughs> He's got the perma pump. The perma pump, baby. The pre exhaustion is out of the way. We're moving on to the kneeling landmine press. It's going to be four sets, eight reps. This is an old favorite of ours. Again, something you can perform really anywhere your home, um, your garage, a commercial gym such as this one. All you need to do really is shove a bar in the corner or use a landmine attachment like we have. Um, you get on your knees. You know, go ahead and keep those elbows tight to the body as you push up and squeeze at the top position. This one is really good for the clavicular portion of the chest, for the upper chest. Um, and that's really why it's one of our favorites. Get that really nice tight squeeze at the top position, you bring it back down. And um, if you haven't tried this one out before, it's probably gonna become one of your new favorites. It definitely is one of ours. Exercise number three the alternating dumbbell bench press. Pretty self-explanatory. It's alternating uh, the arms. So you can start with one side, alternate to the next. You can either start in the top position. So you're leaving one dumbbell up while you're you know, going through the motion on the opposite arm. Or you can start from the bottom position and just rep it out that way. So it's kind of personal preference, but Great way to work on strength, stability, because as you bring one side down, your body is naturally gonna wanna twist. The other dumbbell that you're holding is gonna help, you know, that counterweight a little bit, but it'll still take a lot of core activation to keep that nice rigid straight torso as you're going through that pressing and alternating motion. Moving on to cross bench dips, we're doing a body weight. Of course, you can feel free to add some weight. What you wanna go ahead and do is place it on your lap. Seeing as this is day six, we've already busted out one prior day involving chest, involving triceps. We're just gonna stick with body weight. But of course, the preference is yours. If you feel like adding weight, feel free. An excellent exercise, regardless of weighted or body weight. Great for the triceps. Definitely my number one favorite compound triceps exercise. You know, you're getting that elbow extension in there, but you're getting a little bit of that shoulder flexion. So it's, you know, kind of as you're coming down, it's in that nice extended position there. And as you're extending your elbow, you're also kind of giving a little bit of that flexion in the shoulder, bringing it forward. And that chest is gonna be involved in that a bit, especially when you come to that top position here. And you can even squeeze your chest that top position if you want a little bit more engagement in there. That's why it's a, it's a great pairing, especially when you're doing chest and triceps together. But yeah, like Hudson was saying, you can put a lot of weight on this exercise too. One, because it's a compound, but two, because it's just in that position where you can easily lay a bunch of 45 pound plates in your lap and even do an easy drop set where you dump them off and then keep those reps going. But we've already done a lot of work this week, so keep it a little bit lighter, but still feel that great stimulation in those triceps and a little bit in the chest as well. Moving on to the prone kickbacks. If you've ever done rope, pull downs on a cable machine for the tricep. This one feels very similar. It's kind of funny. It's almost like the horizontal version of that. So very similar. You're gonna go ahead and bring the arms down just to your body, of course, horizontally, give it a really good squeeze. Uh, try to keep the arms as much in line with the body as you can at that top position. Try not to swing the weight too much. You really just want it in the elbows there. And uh, it's an excellent, tricep exercise, which you can perform in a commercial gym, such as we are at the moment, or in your home with just a uh, bench and a uh, pair of dumbbells. Oh, yeah. I gotta say that activation, that is, I think, superior to the rope extensions. Yeah. I mean, because when you're bringing that up, it's just like, it takes so much work to hold that fully, that full extension. The gravity's trying to fight you for it with the weight. Uh, and you just like you feel that nice intense burn in those triceps is what you want. You know, you know they're working. 
You'll notice too that a lot of people when they do extension, starts of extension on the cable machine, it's easy to do this. Yeah. You'll yeah. start get real heavy, either with the rope or even the even the bar. You can bend over and start pushing it, the chest, the shoulders. With this, it's just all in those triceps. It's like the concentration curl but for the triceps. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's blowing my mind, man. It's hard to even formulate words. I couldn't. I was in awe. So you got the inverted tricep extensions or like inverted skull crusher. It's body weight. Um, you can kind of set it to a height that you're comfortable with. The lower you go, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because more of your body weight is put onto the exercise itself. You're a little bit higher, it's a little less weight. Um, about mid-range right now, but it is till failure. So you're really just doing as many repetitions as possible until you burn out. It's three sets of that. So it's really just trying to get take those, those triceps to their breaking point. Oh, another thing is too, is that if, if you're like farther back here, if you're in more of a plank position, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So if your kind of butt's in the air, it's gonna make it a little bit easier. So you kind of pick a point where your feet are placed is best for you. As you can tell too, it's kind of going past the bar. So your head's kind of coming under the bar. It just creates a bit more stretch and it creates a bit of a farther range of motion as well take the triceps through. We're not going to complete lockout, as you can see, just kind of going right before lockout, keeping the time under tension, the triceps. Um, but yeah, it's really just, it's that triceps are in constant, constant work, constant simulation. And since this is the end, it's, it's you're fatiguing hard on this one. Nice. Oh, yeah. We're, we're almost done. <laughs> Physically, and, yeah, yeah, exactly. Literally and physically. And we just want to take a moment to say for all of those of you who have made it this far, or maybe who are just watching this out of curiosity, maybe you're going to try it yourself in the future, maybe you're doing it now. Thank you, because part of the reason that we stay inspired is because you do this along with us. We love doing it. We hope to do many more in the future, of course. If you have any great recommendations for another style of training, please let us know. But we're big advocates of being able to work out anywhere. That's why we really wanted to design this particular plan. So a huge congratulations for those of you who've made it to the end. You're almost there. Let's finish this off together. Couldn't forget the core. This is the final exercise of the plan. It's gonna be twisting planks, three sets, 40 reps. So just touch your hip left to right 40 times. This is it. <laughs> we do this, we're done. There you we know, go. You can't, you can't really like scream in victory after that one because you're so right. winded you can barely even get up. 12 weeks. Congratulations, everyone. We did this together. A lot of people ask, now what? Yeah, yeah. I finished it. What do I do now? You can take a little bit of a deload week, meaning just kind of lighten things up, relax, recuperate. Start collecting your pension <laughs> yeah, and uh, retire to the good life, baby. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> Uh, you know, unfortunately, that doesn't work that way. Yeah. Just take a week off or something, you know, do some light training, nothing too serious, but then you want to get right back to it. You can either repeat the program, a more difficult program, or since you, since you log all your weights and your reps and stuff, now you know uh, where you've been and you know that you don't have to start at the very beginning. You start it a little bit more difficult or you start a completely new program. So there's a lot of options out there, but you can never stop. Gotta keep going. You're, you're like a great white. Yeah. You always gotta keep moving. Yeah, or else you, you die. Serve. Yeah, yeah. So. And it's the same thing with buff dudes. Yep. So excuse us, we gotta go do some kind of physical activity because we're both actually about to die. We've been standing for way too long. Yeah. <laughs>